Hi everybody, it's Kara. I have all sorts of things to share with you that I've been buying, probably when I shouldn't have, but I wanted to start with this one because I didn't actually buy it. I won it from the Greeting Farm when they were doing their release blogs and showing off their new stamps. I left a comment and got lucky enough to be chosen to get this stamp, so I actually got to, you know, kind of get a little fix on my stamp addiction without having to pay for it. So there's that. I have a few orders, a couple orders from Ellen Hudson that I wanted to share with you guys. It's one of my favorite online stores because she has really good sales. She does like, uh, well she does the typical holiday ones, but she also does like overstock sales and everything. And if you shop with her, I don't know if it's once or twice in a month, you get a frequent shopper coupon, which I think is a really nice idea. So, because I've been wanting to do some altered art projects, I picked up some goodies that she had on sale and used my coupon. So I got some of these four inch bottle caps that I'm gonna play with, have some fun. Then this is a three inch one I wanna try. And I also got a couple small stars that I thought would be really cute on a project. Then I picked up this little movers and shapers die that I've been wanting. Really like the size of this one. That's gonna be fun. And I also picked up, hopefully you guys can see these, our small little watch parts in there, which I think are gonna be a blast to use on some of the little things that I make. I picked up these Melissa Francis bottle brush trees. Really cute, I can't wait to use those on some projects. And then a few little jewelry type things, these little rhinestone embellishments. I couldn't resist and of course they were on sale. They're very pretty and then these little simply swank pieces which may or may not end up on jewelry. They might end up on other altered projects but they're really cute. Love those. Got a set of these um, brushes for making backgrounds in my art journal and maybe on some canvas if I can ever get the hang of doing those. And I did pick up a couple stamps, but only because they were on sale. This is my first ever Allie Edwards stamp, believe it or not. I don't have any of hers, but it was on sale. And since it's, you know, going to be spring before too long, fingers crossed, I decided to get this one because it had all these really great sentiments for spring. And then I picked up this stamp set simply because I have been looking at it forever. I just didn't really you know, think I should spend the money on it, but it was like three or four dollars when I got it on sale, and I noticed this little sentiment right here, which is, a bad day shopping is better than a good day working. Love that. So, pick that one up. I also got this tissue wrap roll from Tim Holtz. It's got some really cool things on it, and I love um, tissue paper. Tissue paper is one of my favorite things to use when altering because you can get such really cool effects and this roll has it's 15 feet by 12 inches so it's quite a bit in there and like I said it was I think it was on sale and I got it more off with the coupon. Then I went just a little nuts with the stencils because in their overstock sale she had a ton of stencils and I like the 6x6 right now because I'm doing smaller journaling projects so here are the ones I got this one let's see I'll do it this way that's what it looks like and it is called mini window screen so there's mini window screen this next one is chevron arrows this next one is mini layered beads This next one is mini flower piercing, or sorry, no, piecing, sorry. Mini flowered flower piecing, there's that one. This one is mini ledger. Mini herringbone. Mini webbing. Mini Hound's Tooth. Mini Daisy Cluster. 
mini fence frame. That one's really cool, I think. And the last one is mini pointy circles. So like I said, I went a little nuts. Let me move this a little bit. I'm gonna share a few more things with you. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have noticed, if you've been to your Michaels or Joann's, that they are having huge sales and lots of clearance items. So I've been to both of those a couple times, picked up some things for a friend and some things for me. So I'm gonna share those with you. Let's see. I'll show you the Joanne stuff first because there's, I think, less of that. Oh, and I did actually get a couple um, stamps from Stamper's Best. I couldn't resist Audrey. She's a fav favorite of mine. And then these doodle borders. So technically I did get a couple more stamps there. Anyhow, back to Joanne's. Let's see. There's been a whole bunch of Tim Holtz stuff that I've been wanting, but I didn't really want to pay the price for it, and it's all 50% right now at mine. So I picked up the game spinners, the memo pins. The one I've really been wanting are these pen nibs. I think these are so cool. And let's see, the corked vials. Again, because I'm gonna start doing more of those altered projects. I think these are gonna be a lot of fun there. And last but not least of the Tim Holtz, the timepieces. I think those are very cool. So I got all those 50% off. I picked up the yellow set of gelatos. And if you guys have not used these yet, I am really loving these. I haven't really tried them with stamps, but I love them as backgrounds. And I have a few more ideas of what I'm gonna start trying with these. So they're really great, I love those. And then the last thing I got, um, which is also Tim Holtz, I guess, is this die, which I know you guys have all seen, but I have been com uh, become addicted to Pinterest and I stumbled across some people who've made some really gorgeous rosettes with, um, with and without this die. Obviously you can make it without it, but I decided to go the easy way and get the die. So um, I'm looking forward to making some of those. So hopefully you'll see what I make with that. And then I have all sorts of goodies from Michaels as well. I did not go too stamp happy there, even though they had a lot on sale. I just mainly picked up this one. I really liked the images and I love that heart, so I got that one. And let's see. Picked this embossing folder up because it was on sale and I love that background. I think it's really pretty and kind of elegant looking. I picked up this Fiskars stamp press because I had been wanting to try it but not wanting to spend the money and I think this was like $5.99 or $6.99 at my Michaels. So I thought, what the heck, got that. And let's see, picked up this die on sale or the movers and shapers thing on sale. Um, I got some stamp sets that I'm going to use for um, giveaways or challenges over at Art and Sassy maybe and let's see I picked up the black and white gelatos and oh here's another stamp set I picked up for a friend and I picked up the little reinforcers, really cute. I picked up this die for a friend, wanted that one. That was like, I think $5.99 or $6.99. Another one of those. I picked up some of the balsa boxes, which I'd never really tried, but I got a couple different sizes. I picked up some for myself and a couple for a friend. There's those. I think I got the four different sizes and she's getting two and I'm getting two. They had the Faber-Castell. They had like three different colors of the big brush pen. That one and these two, which I've already taken out. So I picked those up. They were way cheaper there than they are at my local art store. 
Um, let's see. I found these little stars, which I thought were really cool. These kind of whitewashed keys that I liked. And then I picked up just a few, sorry for the crinkling bag, a few bead things. Let's see. So a good friend of mine, Miss Kim, loves these beads with the metal around them. So they had them in a blue and a green. They were on sale, so I got those for her. And then I was getting, I'm getting a little low on some of my clears, so I picked up these beads for myself. And that's it. That's all my goodies. I do have a few more orders coming in. I'm waiting for two things, and then I'm also going to be doing that big giveaway I've been talking about. So stay tuned for that, because the grand prize on that one, the big giveaway, is a ton of stamps. Um, I'm going to show you all those when I get the last couple ones in. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. If you have any questions about any of the goodies, um, leave them down below. And as always, hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye!